There's been some surprising new information released about the Chechen illegal who was shot on the property of a soldier's home in North Carolina. Last week, it was reported that a member of the U.S. Army Special Operations Command who was stationed at Fort Liberty in North Carolina was under investigation after the soldier shot and killed a 35-year-old Chechen man who was trespassing on his property. On May 3rd at 8.15, a caller reported to police, that's 8.15 at night, he reported that an individual was taking photographs on private property and had become aggressive toward the resident outside of the home. Well, when authorities arrived, the illegal trespasser, Ramzan Derizov, was found dead with gunshot wounds. This is where it gets interesting. Initially, Der Derizov was reported to have been a subcontractor for the company, Utilities One. At the time of Derizov's death, he had no utility equipment with him, no utility clothing, or identification and was more than 250 yards away from any roadway. The company never sent out an email to homeowners and he was on private ground past eight o'clock at night when it was dark. Dervoff was accused of taking photos of the soldier's children. It was the third or fourth time he'd been caught trespassing on the same property. While the Chechen illegal had no identification on him, he did have a cell phone with Russian contacts and special camera equipment. When investigators looked into this Utilities One company, they discovered it was incorporated on December 20th, 2023 by a Moldovan CEO. The company's vice president and infrastructure is from Russia. Utilities One is pushing for the justice of Derivov, but there are a lot of suspicious things that point to this company being a Russian spy cover-up business. Utilities One has been unavailable for comment, as you can imagine, because they don't really exist.